Mr. Danielson will be filming us today. Uh, so thank you for being here, Bruce. I wanted to thank everybody for coming out as well. I think there's uh, been some media things out there on IM22, and uh, some people perhaps were told that repealing it's a bad thing. So I just wanted to assure everybody that we are listening to all the people. We're putting the measures in place that the voters wanted, but we're doing it in a constitutional way. Repealing item 22 simply clears the books so that we can pass actual laws that can go into effect because right now, item 22 isn't in effect and it never will be. And I just wanted to take the chance to let you guys know that the anger, if there is any, should be directed at the sponsors of item 22. Let's be clear, item 22 is a scam. And why do I say that? Because 1.3 Uh, $1.3 million in funding, only $1,000 of it came from South Dakota. The biggest chunk was from Massachusetts Group, which does not disclose its sources of funding. However, I can see from the website that they started in Massachusetts around four years ago. They have an advisory board of politicians, boards of directors, which includes 20 out of 28 out-of-state political elites. They have investment bankers, Harvard and Yale, law professors, a bunch of CEOs. please pause for a moment. We will not have uppers, or you will be removed. Stop. Thank you. Um, on the advisory council for this group, they have uh, out-of-state political elites, professional politicians, political consultants, and they want to tell you that this is a South Dakota grassroots effort led by the people. And if that's true, why did only $1,000 come from South Dakota? So what do they do? They wrote a 34-page unconstitutional measure, and they put it on the ballot, and bought a bunch of advertisements in a cheap media market your time is up. to lie about what the uh, plot is. So thank you. Could you uh, put your cookies down, please? Uh, security, escort this gentleman out, please. Come on, Soda Pop, let's go.